Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph and that. They really asked for this one, but this one would be just as easy. Got a little bit of a fade or a blend to it. And here I've drawn it. I can put it on a green background to kind of make it look like the other one. This is really easy. Just take your rectangle tool. And if you needed to copy the exact same thing, you could draw it over that. Then take an ellipse, hold down the control button so it's perfect, and have it snap to the midpoint. You could make it a little bit larger if you needed to by holding down the shift key and have it grow from the center. Then just select them both and weld them. Now you have that shape. Go to effects, contour, and if you contour to the inside two steps, it makes the inner one look a little funny. So my suggestion would be to contour to the outside. It's a little bit more realistic looking. You really don't have to ungroup it or anything. And we're going to take the smart fill tool and fill that in with a blue. I don't really have that blue, so I'm going to use this blue. And then go to your interactive fill tool and just kind of go from the center outwardly and pick elliptical and then move this center deal. And you can change that. Uh, you know, you could add, we can make the, the center part a little bit grayer so it won't be as strong. Uh, they probably, I don't know what, how, how they did it, but you can make it smaller or bigger and uh, less or more. So we're just going to leave it like that. Then, then just uh, all we have to do is fill in those two. Um, and you can't really see the white, so we'll take a, green and I've already got it to the back of the page. Take the smart fill tool, pick white and go on that center one and fill it with white. Then go to red and pick red. Now kind of hard to tell by the picture, but there's no outline. So I'm going to right click no outline. I think we're pretty good. If we make it a little bit smaller and Put it side by side. Um, maybe my their circle's a little bit uh, bigger, but I don't really think they were wanting the exact thing. They, they were just wanting to know how to kind of do that. There should be a little bit of a, more of a fade in there. You know, it's almost overpowering. You know, you could take the transformation docker and go, well, no, you won't want to do that with the green background. But you can always, what I like about this, you can always take the interactive fill tool and you can still change it. Then you can change your slide bar to make it more or less. And you know, there's quite a bit of control you have. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.